So in this video, I want to look at y equals log base 2 of x and y equals log base 3 of x on the same axes, just to see what they look like side by side. So rather than go straight into that, I'm going to take a look at y equals 2 to the x and y equals 3 to the x first. Now we've seen this, okay? We've seen this already, but it's good to kind of revisit it. Now both of them have a horizontal asymptote on the x-axis, so y equals 0. And y equals 2 to the x would look something like this, going through 1 on the y-axis. And y equals 3 to the x would look steeper to the right of the y-axis, go through 1, and then shallower on the left-hand side. OK, so I'll even make that a little bit more pronounced there. OK, didn't really make much difference, but there you are. OK, so we've got y equals 2 to the x and y equals 3 to the x, both going through 1 on the y-axis. Now, y equals log base 2 of x and y equals log base 3 of x are the inverse functions of 2 to the x and 3 to the x, respectively. So they are reflected in the line y equals x. OK, so I'm not going to draw them on the same axis. I'm going to draw them up here so they can get their own graph. Now, 2 to the x and 3 to the x have that horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. So log base 2 of x and log base 3 of x have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. That is reflected in the line y equals x. OK, so they both have that. Now, log base 2 of x is going to look like this. Going through 1 on the x-axis. OK. Now, as for y equals log base 3 of x, we can see that from this graph, if we were to reflect in that y equals x, then the red curve being closer to the y equals x line must mean that the green curve would be further away um, on this side as well. So the red curve would be closer, green curve would be further away. So the green curve is closer to the x-axis than the red curve. So it would look something like this. OK, so it's below log base uh, 2 of x to the right of x equals 1 and above it to the left of y equals log base 2 of x. OK, so here we've got y equals log base 2 of x and here is y equals log base 3 of x. And so that's what they look like side by side. Now, the important thing about this is that if you're sketching log base 2 of x, log base 3 of x, um, log base 5 of x, log base 10 of x, they're all going to have this common shape. They're all going to have x equals 0 as a vertical asymptote. They're all going to go through 1 on the x-axis.